ACC seems as though every team will have a player or several players that are capable of going off for big numbers against you. And I thought our defensive game plan, for the most part, uh, was fine. Uh, you told me that Mitchell and Filipowski would um, score half of what they normally average. And everybody else played normal. I felt that we, our chances would have been pretty good. But I think all of us who played basketball, we seem to have one of those nights where we can't miss, regardless of how you defend it. And I thought we can't have one of those nights. Um, but that's kind of the story of our season. For whatever reason, there always seemed to be one guy that really, really has, has played this. Um, we had a lot of balls. We had several shots that I thought rattled out. And, and they had several shots that rattled in. Uh, you have games, that's why you have to, as a team, you have to take games. People are just not gonna give you games. And, and when you play against a, a really good team who has really good players, uh, defensively you just can't afford to take a night off, I mean, a possession off. And there were several uh, shots that I thought Duke made that were well contested. That we closed out and took away space. That we jumped to the moon and contested and made them arch the ball very high. And, and they made them. That's what good players will do. Good teams will do. And their lives are lost. We took a, a few possessions. Of, I thought there were some deflections that we created. It seemed as though the deflections always fell in, in the wrong direction. Uh, but that's why you have to control that with your, with your energy your offensive rebounds, your deflections and steals and creating offense off your defense. And I thought we felt a little short of that. I really got to take my hat off to do because there were times when I, I thought that we really had them defending pretty well. The guys would, uh, would, would make tough shots. Uh, what we have to do is, is, is take a better understanding that this life in the ACC, T tonight it was uh, McCain until next time we play, it's going to be someone else. And uh, you, you, have to, you have to have a mindset that every possession, from a defensive standpoint, you, you, you're you going to make it as tough on them as you can. Obviously, their game plan was to drive out the ball to the basket. And um, I, I, for the most part, you know, we, I, we could have done a better job tonight contain the dribble, then we have some game. Uh, that's what the statistics seem to show here. But once again, I thought we just got beat by a team that uh, had enough talent that when, when somebody else, some, one of the players were not playing well, that uh, somebody else picked up the slack. And I thought uh, that made the difference in the game. My hat goes off to them. Uh, they played offensively better than we were able, able to play defensively. Leonard, when, when somebody's going like that, what, what can you do? It wasn't like well, he was getting wide open looks. The, right. The second half, I thought there were periods there where we had 25 at halftime, right? So that means they had 10 in the second half. We did a better job. Uh, we went to a, a, another defensive scheme where we played no catch on and uh, made it a little more challenging for him. But uh, I thought Roach, once again, I thought he penetrated to the free throw line and made some very, very challenging, challenging shots. But that's what, that's life in the ACC. Every team has a roach, you know, and every team has a guy that's capable of going off and shooting a high percentage from three, like McCain. But that's what good teams in the ACC will do for you. That's why you have to have a mindset uh, on the defensive end uh, that you defend everybody with your highest level of focus. Um, I, I thought that there were times early in the first half where we could have given McCain a little bit more respect. But I thought once we realized that after the first time out, I thought that we gave him the proper respect. But I just think that uh, sometimes penetrating and tackling the basket causes you to, you know, it breaks your defensive pressure down. And every time we made a mistake defensively, they found it. And he was, he was happy to get about it and look. 
but I don't think he got that many wide open looks. It's just that his offense was better than our defense. And his only three in the second half came on that sequence after the technical. What did they say Darren did wrong there? Um, I think he got a little emotional. And that's what it looked like to me. And uh, was it a four point game then? It was a, I think it was a six that went to 11. <laughs> that's not pretty. But um, and we had a little momentum at that time. And somehow or another, but you always can, you look to that and you say that was the straw that broke the camel's back. But in reality, had we been a better defensively in the first half, you know, maybe we would not have been in that situation. Uh, that was, uh, you know, uh, all of us gonna get emotional every once in a while and say something. I mean, he didn't do anything drastic because you asked me what he did. So obviously it wasn't, but, but the rules are the rules. You got to, you have to abide by them. Unfortunately, uh, that was a situation where we didn't have them. Coach, it's, it's clear how much uh, Jameer's presence uh, at both ends of the court makes a difference. I know he had two fouls. Was there any thought getting him in towards the end of the first half? Well, you know, we, we it was like a four or five point game and they had the spurt right there at the end. So if you got your leading score sitting there and it's a four or five point game and you anticipate going into halftime five or six down, you know, that's not that's not a bad, totally bad situation. But once again, we had, they made a couple plays there toward the end. I think they, did they shoot a, make a three there as the time was going down? McCain. Huh, Jared McCain, yeah. He, yeah, yeah. He so my point good. is that um, that's the way the ball bounced. You know, had we had a five point, six point deficit in halftime, then we would have played it right. So with, with the fact that they, they bloomed to 10, and it's easy to say, well, maybe if Jameer had been in there, it wouldn't have been 10. But then he very well could have got his third foul too. And, and would have put us in a situation where it would have been challenging for us to come back. It's just the, the, the luck of, of the bounce. Touch on a Leonard, y'all had nine steals and it felt like y'all were close to like 14 or 15 steals. And also it seemed like every time y'all blocked the shot, they got the loose ball <laughs> in the middle of the lane. It, was it, is it just one of those games or is there something, y'all, how do you work on something like that to go grab loose balls like that in the middle of the court? Well, you have those games. That's why you have to, you gotta be overly aggressive. You gotta be unbelievably alert. 50, 50 balls make a difference in a lot of games. And it just seemed like that ball, we blocked the shot and it falls one of them. Uh, they missed a couple of shots around the basket and everybody's jumping. Could have gone to anybody and it seemed to go to them. That's what a alert team would do. And that's that's something we, we've had games where we've, you know, we've battled and we've got those loose balls. Uh, and you, you, you point to that because the, the defense over here wasn't as good as it should have been. And so you look at that situation, the bottom line is uh, they had better offense tonight than, than we had defense. And uh, they, uh, and, and one player had an exceptional night. And we had two guys, our best, some of two of our best players in foul trouble. But you have to overcome that. You have to find a, a, comp, a full complement of players that overcome that. It shouldn't really matter if someone is in foul trouble. And we always have been able to pretty much absorb fouls in the first half with the quality of our depth. And my depth is not quite as experienced as it has been in the past. And so we don't quite get the, the, the same level of consistency. But that's who we are this year with this team. Everybody else said?